Hello everyone, welcome to my $35 hotel room. We've got a striking brown tree snake here, and it's rumored to be very aggressive towards humans and venomous. We're gonna try to handle this one and see if that's true. Pushing me away. As you can see, this is the extremely aggressive brown tree snake, mildly venomous that everybody likes to exaggerate how dangerous they are. I'm confident I can sweet talk this snake out of defense of biting. If we were outside in the heat, it would be a little bit more of a challenge, especially with all that sweet green freedom around. Brown tree snakes belong to the genus Boiga, commonly called cat snakes. They are a colorful, assorted group of rear-fanged colubrids found in India, Southeast Asia, and Australia. The brown tree snake is native to northern and eastern coastal Australia, eastern Indonesia, Papua New Guinea, and many islands in Melanesia. See, they got a lot of slack in their neck, and they can strike really far. I learned that the hard way when the mini spotted cat snake in Thailand bit me. I thought I was out of his range, and he stretched out and got me. Ooh, got me. Damn. A little faster than I thought. Just felt like a little, little nip. Wasn't bad at all. If you're nice and if you're sweet, and if you don't behave like a predator, then they, they don't respond to you like you're a predator. You're just kind of somebody who annoys them instead. <laughs> Sometime around 1950, this snake invaded Guam, likely as a stowaway in ship cargo. Due to an abundance of prey and lack of natural predators there, the population exploded to unprecedented numbers. At least a dozen species have become extinct there, and there's been a lot of power outages, and they've become a general nuisance there in Guam. But here in Northern Australia, it's just another fascinating and beautiful creature kept in balance with the natural ecosystem. Brown tree snakes are mildly venomous, which means their venom isn't that potent. Their fangs are located further back in their mouth, and it's difficult for them to deliver venom to humans, but not impossible. If he bites me, I might expect a slight sting and perhaps some local swelling. If you're a child with smaller mass, it could be more serious, especially if he chews on you. This one looks like a male. Look how long, skinny he is. Just the most beautiful, crazy snake. We're gonna take him back now and let him go. 